If you're learning pandas in Python, or if you just want to do some data analysis, a lot of times you want to gather an interesting data set. One of the fastest ways I've found to quickly gather a data set scraped from the internet is by using pandas read HTML function. In this video, we're going to show you how you can take almost any Wikipedia page and pull out the table information. It's super quick and simple. And once you know how to use it, you'll be able to make tons of data sets to run analysis on. Okay, so here I am in a Jupyter notebook and we're gonna learn how to web scrape data really easily using pandas built-in method. So we're gonna import, of course, pandas as pd and import numpy as np. And to show you what this looks like, I have an example Wikipedia page here. This is uh, just a Wikipedia page with some railway speed records. And if we scroll down, this is what you'll commonly see on Wikipedia is a table that looks like this with some data and information. And if we wanna extract this out and pull this into pandas, we can do it really quickly. But before we do that, I wanna right click here and just open the inspector to show you here that this part of the web page, we can see, is a table in HTML. And that's just a class within HTML that is commonly used on many websites, not just Wikipedia. So this will work on any website where you see an HTML table exists. Now, actually, if I make a markdown cell in this notebook, I can show an example HTML table, and I'm just gonna paste this. This is an example I found online of some HTML code, and the markdown cell will render this table here for us. But as you can see, it has the HTML uh, table within here, and then we have the different data within each column and the header row. This is what it looks like when it renders in a Jupyter Notebook because it's rendering the HTML. But we could also just have this as a string. So now we're gonna take the same data used for this table and we are going to save it as a Python string with this table information. All right, so with pandas, all we have to do is read HTML on this HTML string and now if we save this and we look at the type of it, we see we have a list. Read HTML will always read in and return a list because the HTML page may have multiple tables. But if we take this list and we look at the first value in the list, it is a pandas data frame with the, all the data from that table. So let's do a type on this. It is a data frame. Okay, so we're gonna pull an example now from Wikipedia. I thought it'd be interesting to look at here the 100 meters time results from this page. And we're gonna pull it using read HTML, find the table that we wanna look at, and then just plot the data and make sure it looks okay. So I think it would be interesting to look at this season's best results. So what we can just do here is run our PD read HTML and then just feed it in this URL and we will be returned a list of data frames. If we look at the lengths of this, it's 25 and um, we can either count through or just look through until we find the index location that has the results we are looking for. So we're looking for the season's best. It looks like this goes through every year season's best going back to 1972. So if I look here, it looks like the index number five is the table with the men's results. That looks like the same. And number six will be the women's. When you read in with read HTML, there sometimes has to be things that you do to clean up the data. Specifically, sometimes the columns will need to be renamed or reformatted. There might also be um, things within the text that will that you'd have to cast them actually as uh, the right value. So if you look in here, the time column has these A values, which are actually 
um, links to the end note in the Wikipedia article, and we're going to want to remove that. So let's do some cleaning of this data. Let's take the men's and cast this as a, it's already an int, so that's good. So we want this time field to be numeric, and I see that um, there are some values that we'd want to strip out here. So we can do um, just a st string replace for any time we see this A, and we're gonna make regex equals false. And we're also going to strip out this H that we see here. Looks good. So let's go ahead and replace this and then do a PD2 numeric on this column and save it off again. Now, if we look at the women's data that we pulled in, it looks like it has the same issue. So we'll go ahead and run this. And we've run into an error because there's also uh, this underscore A here. So there, there are a bunch of ways that you could do, you could use to clean these up automatically and strip out using regex, but we are just gonna do it quick and dirty using string replace. And now the women's data looks like it's in the correct format we want. So finally, let's just plot the data. We're gonna import matplotlib pyplot as plt, and we're gonna use a style sheet, sheet of ggplot. Let's make a new column that's a combination of the year and the athlete's name. We'll call this name. We're gonna set the index to name, and we're gonna take the time and plot it as a horizontal bar plot. And let's go ahead and sort the values by the year first. Ascending equals false. And because it's sort of hard to see what's going on here because all the times are between, it looks like um, nine and 10 seconds, we can set manually the X limit looks like 94.4, is sort of the range that we'll see them in. And this is pretty cool. So we can see the men's win winners. Let's set the title to men's season's best 100 meter, meter dash and show this. And let's go ahead and do this to the women's data and maybe make this in a plot right next to it. So we're gonna do the same thing to the women's data and we're gonna create a subplot make this first plot be in the left side, and then make on the second plot, which is gonna be the axis of one, we're gonna make it the women's and change out the data there. I'm gonna just go ahead and import uh, the color palette as a list so that we can change this second plot's color. Change the range a little bit for the women's and there you have it. We have um, scraped very easily this data from Wikipedia, and we we're able to quickly, using Pandas, create a plot of the men's and women's season's best 100 meter dash. And of course, you might want to just take this data and save it off, and you can do that very easily with Pandas 2 CSV, and we'll just call this men's 100 meter dot CSV and we can drop the index. Let's also do this for the women's. Now, if I just open up this CSV in Jupyter, we can scroll through and see that we do have a file with all of our results, which you could then explore, save off, and do more analysis with. I hope this video was helpful for you to see how quick and easy you can pull in data from HTML using pandas. If you have any suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.